Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to user one productions. My name is David in today's quick unity tutorial We're gonna be going over a drag and drop system inside of a 3d environment before continuing any further though I would like to address the 80% of people watching this video right now that are not subscribed for one Hello, and welcome to user one productions. My name again is David on this channel I like to go over the in and outs of unity and overall game development we use programs like Unity, Blender, Photoshop, Visual Studios, everything we possibly can to make a game from scratch. Something else I like to do, completely free of charge, is I leave my Google Drive in the description for everyone to download scripts, models, sound effects. Everything I do on this channel is up for grabs. I'll be honest, I'm not the best with answering questions, comments, or concerns about the videos or upcoming videos, but in the description down below, we do have a Discord server with hundreds of very talented game developers, always willing to help, always willing to share their inputs on your projects and show off their own. With all that being said though, my friends, let's get into the tutorial. So here we are inside of my blank Unity test scene I've created. It is nothing but the test scene and the simple FPS controller that we created. And today we're actually going to be going over a Raycast system on how to drag and drop items. There will be two scripts you guys can download, which is Player Reach and Drag and Drop Item. So inside of Player Reach, you can see that there is a public float for the reach distance, so you guys can change that inside the editor. The update function handles everything about creating the Raycast. I also have a few debug lines here. Uh, one is for inside of the editor, you can actually see it. And I also have another debug.log, which is going to read the name in the console every single time it hits a different object. And then right here, a bool for is the Raycast hitting, which this is going to go into the other script, which is our drag and drop. I'm not going to read off this whole thing because it does get a little bit confusing. Pretty much we have a few private variables here, one for if we're dragging which rigid body we're going to be dragging at that current second. We have an offset, so it centers in the middle of our screen. And then we have a private int for its original layer. I'll explain this in a little bit. I also have a smooth speed float right here, which is how fast it's going to move around as we move. Now, if you guys know me, I don't really like to read out everything the scripts are doing, so I'm just going to kind of skim around it and show off what it's doing. Pretty much, if we press our left click is dragging becomes true and the object that we are holding becomes the currently dragged rigid body and we just ensure that is kinematic is true so that way it's not wanting to drop as we're holding it and then pretty much when we let go of the left click we are no longer dragging it which means is kinematic is false so it's going to just drop in place to wherever we put it down here we have a private void which is uh, going to check for if we're hitting other objects. So that's exactly what the layer mask is for, is for it to give it a temporary layer. And if that temporary layer comes in contact with other game objects, it's just going to ensure it doesn't go through it and it actually collides with that object. Let's get the confusing part out of the way and actually figure out how to set this up. So if I disable maximize on play let's look at our player i have both scripts attached to the camera the player reach i have at five right now and the drag and drop item i like to crank this i'm going to do it to 100 just so it's nice and fast and now if i press play pay attention to this top screen here you can see the green line that is being casted so that's easier for you guys to see with testing purposes you can also see at the bottom left in the debug log uh, which objects we're actually hitting. And if we actually go ahead and drop in a few rigid bodies, so what we're going to do is 3D game object cube uh, and then just add a rigid body to it. I'm going to add a few of those in. And then we're going to go 3D object. Let's add a, let's add a sphere too. Again, add a rigid body to it. What I like about this script is how you only need the one script that's attached to the camera rather than adding a script and all that fancy jazz to each object. The script attached to the camera 
is identifying rigid bodies. So for example, let me get out of there, actually max on play. Because our ground is not a rigid body, if I try clicking and dragging it, it's not gonna work because it's not finding the correct component to it. Compared to if I go over here, I can pick up, walk with, I can throw these ridge bodies and you could see they collide correctly with each other. I could pick up this sphere right here, throw it against the wall, throw it against this cube if I can. There we go. Very nice. And that's all that layer does is just ensures we're not going through different objects with our drag and drop system. So this is a system that is pretty popular with modern horror games. It's very popular with puzzle games. Um, it's something I never actually created before, so I'm pretty excited to share it with all of you. And this is one of those questions I get in the Discord through private messages and the comment section, uh, how to make a drag and drop system inside of 3D. There's plenty of tutorials out there for 2D, but nobody actually really goes over the 3D component of it. You guys, I'm sorry for the short video, but this was our quick Unity tutorial on how to make a drag and drop system. If you guys have enjoyed, remember all scripts, models, sound effects, everything I do is linked in the description down below. If you did come to enjoy this video, drop me a like, subscribe. I'm looking at you 80%, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. This is User1 Productions, signing out for now. Peace.